So, ako nang mag, mauna magtanong uh, para dun sa tatahakin yung buhay sa Canada. What made you decide to move to Canada? Yung uh, yung pinaka reason namin kaya nag-decide kami mag-move ng Canada is uh, yung mga bata. Yung eldest namin is just about to enter college. Okay. So, naisip namin na Big, bigyan namin siya ng uh, opportunity na makapasok at makapag, uh, makapag-school sa Canada. And we hope na sana everything will work uh, well mm-hmm. at uh, makatapos siya ng whatever course na mapili niya. Mm-hmm. Why Canada? Why not States? And why not in UK? Or why not in the Philippines? Bakit sa Canada? Kasi yung, ano, yung uh, naging, naging prinsipyo ko sa buhay na as family, Mm. pipilitin ko talaga na dapat magkasama-sama kami. Galing. So, meron, meron, meron uh, opportunity or meron pagkakataon na pumasok sa, sa Pilipinas but then, mapapahiwalay siya sa amin. So, we thought that Canada, pwede kami magsama-sama doon. So, nagkaroon kami ng opportunity na makapasok sa Canada. So, we're grabbing it. Okay. So, so pwede ba natin isigwe doon sa magandang asawa? Oh, so, kasi nga di, di nga kumpletong pamilya kung, kung wala, wala yung asawa. Yung asawa. Okay, okay. Diba? So kasi naalala ko yung mga talks natin eh, yung okay. yung rib ni Ricardo nandoon kay sa babae. Yung babae naman, da, ano po siya, professional dentist po siya sa Pilipinas. Nag-work rin siya dito as in the in dental uh, company. Anyway, explain niya na lang, siya po ay si Cherry. Cherry Nakpilche. Good evening. Good evening po. Loko. No, mo Daddy Blue, ah. Meron nang tagapalakpak. Two na yan. Live, live yan. Live na live. <laughs> Sige. <laughs> Dapat lagi kayo naririto. Ano? Ilan ba kayo? One, two, three, four, five. Meron pa sa labas. Che, okay, Che. I- ikaw naman. Bumati ka muna. Oh, uh, hello to CFC Music Ministry at sa aming uh, DNA family. Okay. Nakikinig ba sila ngayon? Itong family mong DNA ba yan? Ito yung sa, siguro, sa work. Oo, oh, sa work. Okay. Um, Danong ko kanina, uh, what made you decide? Of course, sinabi ni Carlo na yun nga si Paolo. Gusto ko naman malaman, ano, uh, Miss Cherry, ano naman yung mamimiss mo when you move to Canada? Ako, marami ako mamimiss dito sa Dubai, especially mm-hmm. na tagal na namin dito. Mm-hmm. Of course, yung company, especially ito yung mga nandito na mga supporters natin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Una-una ko may mismo, ayan, yung sa work ko, mm-hmm. dahil uh, from day one, yun lang naging work ko. For 15 and a half years, dun na ako ng trabaho. At this one company ka? Yes. We started mm-hmm. as only five uh, employees. Galing. Eh. Tapos ngayon, nasa 200 plus na kami. And she's wow. the right hand of the owner. Can you imagine, Filipina, right hand. Galing. Kaya Filipina, excellent kaya ito. Okay? So, Pero um, syempre, yung init, di mo mamimiss. Ah, uh, mamimiss ko rin siguro. Oh, Lalo na, na pupuntahan namin. Sobrang lamig. So, <laughs> palagay ko, pag nandun na kami, mamimiss ko yung init. Ah, okay. Saan ba kayo mag-move? Sa Edmonton. Hmm. Anong lugar pa? Kasi, alam ko sa Canada, may lugar, may lugar na malamig, mainit, or parang tropical. Actually, ang Edmonton yata, eh, yun ang halos pinakamalamig. Isa sa mga pinakamalamig na lugar sa Canada. How do you see yourself na mag-adjust pag uh, ganito yung ano, klima? Sinasabi naman nila, in due time, yung temperature na, body temperature mo mag adjust mag adjust uh-huh. Speaking about adjusting, before kayo, ito, sa inyong dalawa tong mag-asawa, no? Carlo and Cherry, before kayo pumunta ng, before kayo nag pumunta ng Canada, meron ba kayong pin-repair sa sarili nyo or sa pamilya nyo? Uh, siguro yung pinakauna, yung sarili namin, dahil alam naman natin yung uh, buhay dito sa Dubai, Uh, dito sa Dubai, uh, I would say na parang lux- luxurious dito. Eh. Mada- madami, madami dito ang bagay na magagawa mo na hindi mo magagawa sa Canada. Canada or sa, isang baba- sa ibang bansa. Uh, dahil dahil nag- nagpunta na kami sa Canada nung last year, so alam na namin kung somehow may clue na kami kung ano darat na namin doon. Mm-hmm. So that is uh, one thing na siguro yung dito, uh, uh, is fortunate kami na 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 naka, nagkaroon kami ng kasama sa bahay. Mm, okay. So that's one. So I'm pretty sure si Sister Wife pagdating namin sa Canada, medyo mag adjust na gusto 'yan. Mm-mm. At yung mga bata dahil lahat ng mga household chores kami na lahat ang gagawin noon. 
the other thing is uh, yung mga sarili na rin namin dahil sa klase ng mga sa klase ng trabaho namin we're not expecting anything better than what we're having here Mm-mm. pag, pag uh, dating namin sa Canada so we really need to start from the bottom again siguro from zero from sino, zero, si, yeah. sino yung ano, principal applicant ikaw si Cherry ako, ako yung ikaw yung, as engineer as an engineer ah uh, okay kasi may may mga categories yan di ba pero ngayon maluwag ba ngayon ang Canada or ano mahipit na parang uh, ang uh, base dun sa mga naririnig namin sa mga ano na rin, mga nagtatanong sa amin, uh, parang mahigpit daw ngayon. In fact, uh, mayroon kami dalawang kakilala na recently na parang na-deny yata. For mm. what reason? Uh, pamilya uh, sila, di ba? Pag pamilya, mas malaking chances. Not, not necessarily. Kasi uh, sa Canada kasi, ang, ang pagkakaalam ko ngayon, dahil pabago-bago yung rules doon, this time yata, nagiging, ano na sila, nagiging yung pinaka-qualification nila yung mga taong kailangan nila dun sa ano sa Canada say so, sa profession natin or sa mga sa mga kung anong available na trabaho sa Canada ngayon. Mm-mm. So say anong anong nakikita mo work mapapasukan mo? Uh, something similar na no, similar na field and discipline na uh, siguro sa oil and gas pa rin and that's the uh, reason dahil kaya nagpupunta kami ng Edmonton which is part of Alberta. Dahil nandun yung parang oil and gas uh, capital ng Canada. Yun ang mundo ah, ng okay. maraming... So, malaking ex- chances ni Carlo. Yeah, but na-struck ako sa sinabi mo kanina, Carlo, that uh, parang back to zero kayo, no? Uh, and you are preparing yourself to be, you know, in that situation. Uh, and we have heard some of the, those people na nag-migrate sa Canada, nag, you know, they're, they're back to really zero dito, manager sila pagdating doon, part of McDonald's and oh I'm sorry mga fast food you know mm. talagang nagse-serve do you see yourself na ganun din nangyari sa iyo at the moment uh, positive naman kami mag-asawa uh, the way, the way we see it is that uh, kaya nagpupunta kami ng Edmonton marami kaming nakikita ng uh, mga para mga vacancies din doon ah, okay. sa mga field na I'm confident na kaya kong pasukan uh, not necessarily uh, On a, si- on a similar position na meron ako dito. But, may uh, be lower, but may, may be lower. the same, ito, same line of work. Oh. Uh, si Shen naman, as a, as as a, a dentist. dentist. Ano ka ba? Uh, licensed dentist ka pa rin ba? Che? Sa Philippines, yes. Ah, so continue pa rin? Yes. Pero And, dito, hindi. Hindi ako nag-try dito. Kasi during that time, I was here 1991, medyo mahigpit sila. So maraming requirements. So I didn't try. And Pagdating ko dito, the third day pa lang ng pagpunta ko dito sa Dubai, may trabaho na ako. Mm. Ma- Napakaswerte nyo naman. 1991 yun eh. Oo. Oh, okay. Maraming trabaho. Oh, no, no, I, no, sorry. I was here 1997. Ah, 1997. Si Carlo, 91. Uh, mm. Siya sampung araw, ito tatlong araw. Diba? Napakaswerte. Ano ba kinakain sa Pilipinas? Baka napakaswerte nyo. Pero ikaw, ready... He, he had prepared himself. How about you? Anong pin-repair mo Actually, that you're going to move in Canada? Psychologically. Why is be that? ready. Why is that? Malaking adjustment eh. Dahil sabi nga niya, especially here, na medyo matagal na rin ako na may kasama sa bahay, yung mga mm-hmm. household chores. Mm-hmm. So, medyo mahirapan ako doon. Tapos, uh, yung sa temperature ng, syempre, yung weather, Uh-oh. malaking adjustment. Tapos, syempre, yung community dito, Mm-mm. dahil ang dami nang naging kaibigan uh-huh. tapos yung mga kaopsina na yung closeness ba mm-hmm. siguro yun ang talagang mamimiss ko rin mm-hmm. tapos syempre financially you should be ready financially as well mahirap mm-hmm. naman na pagdating mo doon syempre mag-expect ka na, hindi ka naman mag-expect na kagad na makukuha ng trabaho Totoo. so kahit pa paano dapat financially ready ka rin Okay. So speaking of financially uh, being ready, no? Uh, ilang taon ba kayo nag-prepare, uh, Carlo and Jerry, na sa tingin nyo ready na talaga kayong mag-move? Taon ba to? Uh, yeah, it na was, nag-ipon? It took, how many years? Something like six years ata o mahigit pa. Dahil parang kasi nangyari sa amin, naging, na, nagkaroon kami ng second application. Uh-oh. Yung unang application namin, hindi naging, parang hindi naging mag- maganda yung res- result. So, nag-reapply kayo? Nag-reapply Or kami. hindi di- reapply parang new application? Reapply. Oh, reapply. Ganun, no. reapply. Without, without ano, refunding? 
Wala. Wala ah, okay. Okay, sige. Uh, mag-break muna tayo at uh, nagpababati pala. Sabi, minanggit ko kanina yung Amante Family ngayon, yung Batan Family, Delaven Family, pati daw yung Mercado Families all the way from Qatar, sabi ni Alex Batan. Babalik po kami. Around town or around the world, when you're on the go, you need to know the latest news and business stories, sports and lifestyle. All in the palm of your hand. Whether it's an iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android, we have the app for you. Wherever you are in the world, keep Dubai Eye with you. Get your free iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android app at DubaiEye1038.com now. Welcome you all to our fabulous tea party and hmm, who are you little girl? I'm Alice and uh... Mad Hatter, what are you doing? Oh Dormouse, please wake up! Gosh, Rabbit, can't you be on time for once? The Queen is waiting. Benjamin presents Alice in Wonderland, the first ever search show packed with dazzling acrobatics, dance and music. Two daily shows and meet and greet from 21st to 30th of June. Log on to It's Benjamin on Facebook for details. Filipino Rhythm, brought to you by Alansari Exchange. Now you can deposit your labor guarantees quick and easy with Alansari Exchange. Kayo po ay nakikinig sa programang Filipino Excellence in the Middle East. Sa mga nag-tune in pa lang ngayon, ang topic po natin ay Goodbye Dubai and Hello Canada. Nauna po po yung mag-asawa, si Carlo tapos Jerry Nakbil. Explain nila kung bak- kailan sila dumating dito at anong reason lang alis dito. Ngayon, yung dalawang anak nila, isang lalaki, isang babae, tatanungin naman natin. Yung lalaki, 17 years old, at yung babae naman is 11 years old. So, halos dito na sila lumaki. Mukhang Dubai na alam nila. So, Pao and Gian, let's start with Pao. Pao, good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, okay. Pa, you know, Pao, is, this is his second time to guest in a radio show. Yes. I, re- I remember him 2008 when they were part of the, where they, when they were participants of this uh, FPC workshop mm-hmm. for the youth. You remember that, Pao? Yeah, I do. Okay. My first time on a radio station. Okay, this is second and, time. And do you remember Daddy Blue? Yeah, I do. Sa ibang studio Yeah, the old sa station. Maktum, Maktum Bridge pa tayo nun. Mm-hmm. May buhok pa ko nun eh. <laughs> <laughs> May buhok pa rin naman ngayon. Pa- You're still yeah. looking good. Okay, I'll ask Pao. Pao, uh, excited or with mixed feelings when you're leaving now? I'm having mixed feelings right now actually because it's a mixed bag actually because we're leaving Dubai. It's, ex- it's exciting and scary at the same time. Why do you say that? Because it's a new place. It's like a new adventure but it's totally unknown. It's foreign. You know, but but, you, but went, you have yeah, yeah you have visited the the country and uh, how do you find it when you were there do you think you'll you're gonna like it yeah I think I'll like it it's pe- peaceful I guess not not a very fa- fast paced lifestyle but it's nice mm-hmm. and and you're the reason why you are moving you know your family is moving to Canada yeah how do you feel about that I don't know I'm I'm thankful actually because it furthers my education it enables me to get better chances and all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. About uh, education, what course are you t- going to take up? <laughs> well, for now, I've decided on sociology. Sociology? Yeah. A study of uh, human evolution, society? No, like, uh, study on people. Cause people. Because then I, I'd move on to criminology next year. Uh-huh. I'm scared. CSI, you've been watching CSI, huh? No. Hindi daw. Masyado ah, violent yung for him. Di ba? Criminology. Sociology. Mm. The criminal mind, di ba? They study about the human uh, mind. Eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so Pao, uh, what will you miss in Dubai? I'll miss in Dubai. I'll miss the culture here. It's, it's absolutely different from there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and the little things like the food, the, the people, and my friends, of course. Okay. Yeah. But what about the food? I love, I love food. And a lot of <laughs> ladies here, they love food. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, was you, you'll miss the Arabic food or shawarma. What type? What type of food? Well, caldereta. Uh, There's caldereta there. <laughs> the Arabic food, of course, and Indian food. Oh, okay. oh, you're fond of eating uh, Arabic food and Indian food. Huh? Yeah, it's it's different. This can you speak Tagalog? Actually, no. Oh, uh, you're not. Uh, oh, because dito, dito ko pinangalak. You were born here? No, I was born in the Philippines, but I was moved. Uh, I moved here when I was two, so hmm. I don't okay. really know how. Okay, the one who was born here is your sister, Gian. Gian, good evening. Good evening. How oh. are you tonight? I'm fine. How do you feel that uh, the whole family is inside this studio uh, and we're talking about your event, uh, you, you know, yung paglipat nyo sa Canada next month? 